Alrighty. Well, thanks for joining me. I wanted to bring some light on something that kind of surfaced today in the gaming world. Um, I thought was that was worth a video because I don't think a lot of people are going to have this, um, this, this outlook, this mindset whenever they're looking at next gen. I know there are a lot of people that are going to be like, you know, real hardcore gamers are going to know this stuff. But this is something I thought was very interesting, and this is today we're regarding the, the SSD. Um, so let's let's go ahead and jump in, and and kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. So if we want to jump right on into the specs. This is kind of the breakdown right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me zoom in a little bit. But um, so if we're looking directly at it, the IO throughput, 5.5 gigabytes raw on the PlayStation 5 versus 2.4 on the Series X. Now, I know there's a lot more math, and they both have their, their different solutions there. Um, and, and as far as I know, they're, they're different, but they're still fast. They're, they're still very strong. They're still going to be great for whatever side you, you go with. But what I, what I wanted to touch on today Looking at this chart, look at it real good. Just look at it. Okay. Now we're going to go over here. This is posted by GameSpot today. And for the first time now, we are getting a direct comparison on the same games. So the NDA is released or it has been raised. So now we have a direct, a direct comparison from non-biased companies, non-biased YouTubers. They get to look and dig into this stuff. So today we got a little bit of taste of it. Now I want to show you this. So watch this carefully. Internal SSD has marked, if not drastic, improvements in multiple games like Bloodborne and Final Fantasy VII Remake. When compared to the Xbox Series X's internal storage, however, a different picture gets painted. You ready? On the PS5, Final Fantasy XV takes 1 minute and 10 seconds for 1 minute 10, PS5, life. 1 minute this 10. the PS4, which comes in at almost 3 minutes, but doesn't match up to the Series X, which only takes 43 seconds. 43 seconds? seconds? Alright, let's show another. Likewise, Monster Hunter World took 51 seconds on the PS5 and only 29 on the Series okay. X. Okay, alright, let's stop there. Okay. Go back. Dude, that's wild. That's crazy to me. That is substantial. We're talking 30 seconds of difference on the same game. And, and we're not just talking about next-gen hardware. We're talking about the Xbox Series X is 20% stronger when you look at just hardware versus hardware. The Sony's big leg forward or, or big uh, push was the fact that their SSD, their speeds, their raw input, the, the ability to write, the ability, the ability to load, these things were going to be on a whole other level. We are seeing right now, now I know there's going to be other games come out, other first party games are going to come out, they're going to utilize this hardware better, I know that. But what I'm talking about right now, for the first day of these NDAs being released for both sides, we are seeing direct comparisons right now, and some of these are already showing that the Xbox Series X is actually loading things faster. So if you're going to spend $499, you are going to get the Series X that's not only 20% stronger, but you're going to have a game, you're going to have it run and load games faster, and then you're going to be running things that oh, most of the time 4K native, 60. Now on the PS5, we're, we're, we are already seeing games running at dynamic scaling, compressed 4K. We're already seeing this. Are you going to be able to notice? Probably not. But we are seeing on paper what it looks like for $4.99. Your best bang for your buck is definitely looking for Series X, definitely looking for Game Pass. You're looking at a smaller, more sleek console. They're both going to be great. But today, we're seeing a lot of really, really interesting things going on for Xbox. We're seeing some things unveiled. We're seeing the truth of what is really next gen. We're seeing the truth of the power of these new hardwares. Get out there, start digging, start looking. If you're on the fence, both are going to be great. But if you're looking for a particular advantage point, start looking because right now is the time. We're only a few days away from launch. So post in chat what you think. If you have questions, I'm up for discussion. I love talking about this stuff. So just let me know. You guys have a great one. Thank you.